Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jocelyn, and today we are going to talk about the new quarantine rules for those fully vaccinated in the Philippines. The latest resolution from the Interagency Task Force in the Philippines outlined a new rule for those who are vaccinated in the Philippines, and here are the new quarantine requirements. Now, this resolution number 119 defined a person who is fully vaccinated. Actually, in my previous videos, I already defined what a fully vaccinated person is, especially the guidelines issued here in the U.S. I think they are merely adapting what was stated in other countries or the CDC from the United States. An individual considered as having been fully vaccinated two weeks after the last dose or the second dose or two weeks after the first dose if that is the COVID-19 vaccine requirement. For example, here in the U.S., Pfizer requires two doses. So if you finish the second dose and there's a lapse of two weeks, then you can be considered a person who is fully vaccinated. Another example is the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. There is only one dose for this vaccine and you are considered fully vaccinated two weeks after the first and only dose of the vaccine. The vaccines must be approved by the Philippine Food and Drug Administration Emergency Use Authorization list or through a compassionate special permit. Take note, the Philippines has already been administering the Sinovac vaccine from China even before its use has been authorized for emergency use by the World Health Organization. Here is the catch. Only those who have been fully vaccinated in the Philippines can avail of the seven-day quarantine requirement, but it must be in a hotel facility accredited by the government. It's not just a home quarantine now let me outline the exact procedures to avail of the seven day quarantine first you must be fully vaccinated in the philippines second the vaccine must be approved by the philippine food and drug administration or through a, a special or compassionate special permit number three a fully vaccinated individual must carry his or her vaccination card which must be verified prior to departure as far as practicable. This document must be presented to the dedicated Bureau of Quarantine representative for re-verification at the Department of Transportation one-stop shop upon arrival in the Philippines. Third requirement is that a fully vaccinated individual must carry his or her vaccination card and it must be verified twice. The next requirement is that you must undergo a quarantine in an accredited hotel facility and then it will start on the first day of your arrival the question is are you still required to do the swab test the individual shall undergo rt-pcr test only when covid-19 symptoms manifest within the duration of the seven-day facility-based quarantine that means that you can only be tested if you have symptoms so if you're asymptomatic, you don't need a test. Upon completion of the seven-day quarantine, the Bureau of Quarantine shall issue you a certificate clearing you to go home. Take note, the seven-day requirement is only for those vaccinated in the Philippines. For everyone else, like overseas Filipino workers, foreign nationals, and all other Filipinos abroad, whether they are former Filipinos or dual citizens, all of us if i'm going to travel all of us are still required to quarantine for 14 days and pro book for a hotel facility for the first 10 days and the remaining four days will be spent at home for the benefit of those wanting to know if foreign tourists are now allowed in the philippines the answer is a big no based on the latest update from the bureau of immigration the Philippines is not yet open for tourism. Also, there is still an entry ban being imposed for those travelers coming from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Oman, and United Arab Emirates. However, if you are an overseas Filipino worker 
and you are under the repatriation program of the government, you may be allowed to go home and you will still be tested and still undergo the mandatory 14-day uh, quarantine. There is, however, a good news for those holders of a special residence retirees visa or SRRV, especially for those wanting to go home in the Philippines, you don't need to present an entry exemption document moving forward. Now, those are the highlights of the new rules imposed by the Interagency Task Force. Now, let's examine the new rules. Let's say you didn't get your vaccine from the Philippines are you, and you are coming from abroad. Do you think that the Sinovac vaccine, which has a 51% efficacy, is more superior than the one from, let's say, the U.S. like Pfizer that has a 98% efficacy? Which is better? In my earlier video, I stated that the current vaccination rate in the Philippines is 3.6% as of end of May. And Sinovac vaccine was just recently approved and they've already been vaccinating people even before its use has been authorized by the World Health Organization. The Philippine government has been changing rules almost weekly or sometimes daily. And there is really a short notification regarding a new travel requirement for those inbound passengers. I have been monitoring these travel restrictions is starting July of last year and it's already June so it's almost a year that I have been monitoring the changing rules in the Philippines. All of these resolutions are hard to keep up especially for those who wanted to travel in the Philippines and may not go through all through all these rules that has been changing almost daily or weekly and with less notification to the public. Another analysis is that these people who are going home do not have a long vacation. Maybe the Philippines think that all of us Filipinos abroad have like two months or three months of vacation saved up to just go to the Philippines. No! Most employers just offer like two weeks of paid vacation each year unless if you don't really have a job then you can go home anytime in the Philippines and take as much vacation as you want or if you're already been retired from your job. It's really hard to book a flight going to the Philippines and most of the time there are already several cancellations before even flying home. And mind you, the ticket prices are higher between June to August and then the cost of the ticket goes down from September to October and then it goes up again during the holidays from November to December. Now it's really hard to plan and budget for all of this because of these changing rules from the Philippines. So my great advice to everyone out there is to hold off on traveling. Let me know your thoughts regarding this new resolution from the Interagency Task Force. What are your thoughts on the seven-day requirement for only those vaccinated in the Philippines? If you have any other questions or comments or planning to travel in the Philippines, please post your comments below or share your travel experience. Thank you guys for watching and if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching and I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.